Feldenkrais method is like the user's manual to the human body. It's a holistic approach that incorporates thinking, acting, sensing and feeling to help you live your life to the fullest. To get started, let's begin with something very practical. Come to your feet and notice how you're standing. What can you observe about the way you're holding yourself up in gravity? What sensations do you become aware of? How much effort does it take to be on your feet? Turn to see around your environment. How much can you easily take in to your right? And how much can you see around to the left? Notice how much of your body is participating in this action. Do you lose some height as you're twisting to see around to the side? Take a moment to observe how well you balance on your left leg and compare that to how you balance on your right. Find out what it's like to lower yourself to the ground. Pay close attention to the sensation at your knees. Don't do the movement beyond the range of what is comfortable. Widen your stance and brace your arms to your legs. Support your upper body with your elbows straight and your knees gently bent. Begin a motion of your entire spine, allowing each vertebra to articulate in relation to the others in a distributed, easy manner, alternating between arching and rounding. No one segment participating more than the other. Can you sense if your pelvis is tilting forward and backward like a rocking chair? Bring your hands to the floor or rest them on a chair so that you can be in a quadruped position. Drift your body forward and backward to experience how your arms support you. Again, create an easy action of your entire spine, gently extending and flexing proportionately and minimally. Lean your elbows on your thighs and continue to explore that spinal movement. Is it easier or harder? Bring one hand back to the floor or chair and continue to experiment with rounding and arching your spine, head to tail, in this asymmetric position. Change your arms and find out if you have more freedom to move in this arrangement. Come back to standing and feel if you're a little more upright. Investigate, turning to see left and right. And has that changed? Maybe try the squatting to see if that got easier. For this next part, you'll need a mat and a roller and if you don't have a medium soft roller, you can make one out of a blanket or a couple of towels, simply by rolling them together so you have a uniform cylinder, the length of your spine, head to tail, and make it about four inches in diameter. Come to your knees and position the roller so your hands can lean on it. If it's uncomfortable to kneel, find something to place between your knees and the floor. Return to that rounding and arching movement, flexing and extending that we did earlier. Can you tell where the movement initiates from? Is it your head or your pelvis? Tuck your toes as if you were going to start a running race. Return to the action of shortening the spaces in the front of you and then alternating with shortening the spaces on the back of your torso and see if this changes how you do it. Now lower yourself onto your forearms and compare it to this sensation. Is the movement distributed or are you predominantly creating the action with your lower back or perhaps in your neck? Come back to leaning on your hands and raise your knees so you're a tall quadruped. Try that flexing and extending motion of your spine again. Observe if you're holding your breath. It's likely to happen when you increase the difficulty. Return to leaning on your knees again and raise your head and chest so you can see far ahead of you. Release one arm so that you can reach past the end of your mat and then try that on the other side. How much sideways shift does your body make? Return to all fours and drift your body side to side as you move the weight to the left leg and left hand and then across to the right side. And now this time purposely lead with your bottom and compare that with if you lead with your upper body side to side. Return to shifting your whole torso now, upper body, lower body, left and right. So you arrive at the same moment on your right hand and right knee, and then over to the left. Are you moving 
your whole spine as a unit now. Come to the center and begin to move simply forward and backward. Go ahead and tuck your toes as if you're going to start a running race. What's the difference from when your feet were lying flat? Let's begin to travel in a diagonal while maintaining your head vertical as much as possible. Begin to drift your weight backward to the right and forward to the left. Notice if your pathway is direct or it's a zigzag. Now experiment with going backward to the left and forward to the right. Is it more comfortable? Is the path that your body travels through space more direct? Let's get a little playful. Can you carry yourself around in a circle? Sensing how the imprint of each limb alternately intensifies. Are you traveling clockwise or counterclockwise? Simply reverse the direction you're tracing your circle. Let's return to raising one arm without the torso displacing, allowing yourself to breathe easy as you alternate reaching one arm and then the other. Bring your right hand to the middle of your chest and turn the chest to face right. Change over and try that on the other side. Back and forth maintaining your pelvis over your knees. Position yourself once again with your head upright and reach one arm out past the end of your mat. And now explore traveling your whole torso around in a circle. Bring your hand to the middle of your chest and turn your upper body on your lower body. Are you seeing farther around to the side? Change hands, turn to the left. Notice what your pelvis is doing. Does it swing side to side? Repeat it again on the first side. Rest on your back a little. Tune into the imprint your body makes against the mat. Can you imagine the impression you would make if you were lying on carbon paper or on the sand of the beach? Which part of your body leaves a deeper imprint? Observe your breath as it comes and goes and try not to interfere with its natural rhythm. Begin to lift your head from the floor and feel how the imprint of your body changes. Notice if you hold or change the way you breathe. Allow yourself a moment to reset so you can do it again. Let's explore the action of tilting the pelvis forward and backward again while it's supported by the floor. Raise your pelvis and with your pelvis in the air, begin to tilt it forward and backward, slightly arching and rounding your spine whilst your pelvis hovers in the same location. Bring your roller to rest on the front of your pelvis you're going to use it as a visual telltale to be able to notice if any turning happens at your pelvis. Bring your legs and feet together and raise your pelvis. While your pelvis is raised, lift one foot from the floor and be on the lookout how much your pelvis wobbles side to side. You're trying to prevent your pelvis from tipping down on the side that the leg lifts. Go ahead and try the action of raising the other leg without your pelvis displacing at all. Lower your pelvis to the floor, put the roller behind your legs, near your feet, and then step up onto the roller and try to get a sturdy footing. From this place, you can start to explore raising your pelvis and lowering it. Remember the rocking movement of tipping the pelvis forward and backward like a rocking chair? Explore that. Can you keep your pelvis lifted and maintain it at the same height as you tilt it forward and backward? Go ahead and bring your feet and legs together. Now raise your pelvis from the floor and then raise one leg and then the other. 
Can you maintain your pelvis in a place hold? Even the act of lifting your pelvis can cause it to sway left and right. Lift one leg after the other, like you're marching on the spot without any motion of your pelvis left or right. Let's explore turning whilst your leg is in the air. Can you turn the front of your pelvis to face more to the right and back to the sky? Back and forth without your pelvis shifting over to the left. Change legs and feel how secure the right leg needs to be for the left side of the pelvis to go low and high. Allow your chest and breathing to be free and light as you maintain a well-lifted pelvis. Bring your bottom down from the mat, step your feet off the roller and feel the imprint your body makes now against the mat or carbon paper or sand. Has it changed? Observe your breath as you lift your head from the mat and bring it back down again. Does it feel a little lighter? Roll to your side and come and sit up. Bring your roller so you can lean your upper body at the level of your shoulder blades and position the roller so that you can hold your head high and see past your knees. Bring your hands interlaced behind your head and begin to turn to see left and right. Explore in this position, tilting your pelvis forward and backward like a rocking chair. While maintaining your head vertical, start to turn your pelvis to imprint one buttock and then imprint onto the other side of your pelvis while your shin bones remain vertical. Is your head still or turning along with your pelvis? Now explore letting your knees drift both in the same direction, left or right, maintaining the imprint of both soles of the feet completely to feel the difference. Side to side. Bring the inside of your legs and feet to touch and maintain that contact between your legs so there's no sliding and explore tilting both legs as a unit side to side. Now widen the stance of your feet and begin to lower your head backward, incorporating all of your spine in this action. Bring your head so it's the same height as the roller and begin to bend your head and your shoulder girdle side to side, feeling how the spaces between the ribs narrow on the side that you're bending towards and the spaces between the ribs on the side that you're moving away from widen. Can you continue to laterally tilt your head from side to side, still facing the ceiling or the sky? while your knees tilt in the opposite direction to turn the front of your pelvis left and right. Continue to tilt your knees one way and your head the other and bring the back leg across and over the advancing leg. Be playful and explore what can be done with that leg that follows in the rear. After your knees have tilted to the side and drawn with it your upper body, perhaps the top leg can swing like a pendulum and draw you back around to the other side. Come rest on the floor for a moment. Sense if the imprint of your body against the mat has changed and try to identify for yourself where those major changes have occurred. Slowly roll to your side and come to standing again. Let's return to those simple movements of sensing our uprightness, turning to see a little bit left and right, as well as testing out your balance to see if you're a little more stable and upright. How about lowering yourself once again into a squat? Feel if that's more comfortable for your knees and your back. I hope you enjoyed this Feldenkrais informed movement lesson. 
and you feel a little more equipped to face your day.